That's very good. Here. I'm sure you could do it. You know, here's the part that's interesting, okay? There's four fundamental forces. Why am I telling you this? Because it's instrumental to learning how a UFO really works. That's really how it is. And it really comes down to this one. Okay, but let's talk about this one. This is the weak force. The weak force is something that controls something called beta decay. Beta decay is why you're all here. What's that mean? It means that if you have a carbon atom, right, a carbon atom can gain a neutron. And that neutron can spontaneously, through a process, be converted into another proton. So now, instead of a carbon atom having the normal number of protons, it has one more, which makes it a nitrogen atom. So in this process, you can get this decay that causes more elements to be made in the periodic table, and thus more elements that can make you in all of your many forms, right? So that's the weak force. The strong force holds all those atoms together, right? So the protons have a plus one charge. Remember you take two north poles of a magnet? You know, you can't put them together. That's what protons feel. But still, they're crashed together and held together. And what's holding them together? The force created by the particles that make up the proton itself. The proton's particles are called quarks. Remember quarks? You've heard of quarks, some of you, right? And you say, well, what is a quark? Well, quarks have all kinds of qualities, color, charm, all this stuff. I've never met a charmed quark I didn't like. <laughs> but the point being, uh, quarks can also uh, cause... Uh, a special process by which, and they're held together by what are called gluons. I mean, talk about it. They, they, there's, there's gluons, there's muons, and so on. I mean, it's, there's all kinds of ons, all right? But the point being that these things are the reason that atoms stick together and can grow bigger. These things are the reason that atoms turn into other atoms, all right? So without these two things, you're not here. The chair's not here. The podium's not here. The wallpaper, the, the floor, everything's not here. Electromagnetism, that's light. Now, what do we know about light? Light can be a wave, right? And light can be a particle, a photon, an energy packet, right? We have a photon of light, and we have a wave of light. But wait, it should be one or the other, right? No, it can be represented as a dual, dual approach. We can have a duality here of a particle of light and a wave of light. Now, why do I tell you that? Because it all comes back down to gravity. <clears throat> When two black holes collide with each other, or two neutron stars, they're very massive stars, collide with each other, they create a splash, like a pebble being dropped into a pond. Those concentric rings moving out from the point of the impact of the, of the pebbles in the water, those are waves of water moving out, right? Ripples. Well, the same thing happens when black holes collide, and when neutron stars collide. They create ripples through space. Ripples of gravitation, and those are called gravitational waves. And those gravitational ripples that we see reach us, and we can measure them. Einstein said we'd never see gravitational waves. Einstein was wrong. We do. But these can all be represented as both waves and as particles. Why is gravity not? We know gravity has waves. Where's the gravity particle? We don't know yet. We haven't found it. But it would be called a graviton. That's right. He, he said it. See? I told you he knows this stuff. Okay? A graviton you can consider as a particle of gravity. Now, there's certain theories out there that talk about gravitons. In fact, CERN overseas, the, uh, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, they're building another collider right now. And this collider is being used to study some of the very particles we're about to talk about. Because they found that there's some unique properties associated with these particles. Who knew? Bob up in discussions. I'm just going to stop this guy here. Right? This is something rather interesting that I've stumbled across tonight. But what he's actually talking about is relevant to the physics and quantum physics and the rule of the the source, the force, the force that combines everything. Electrons and neurons. Now this is what I've been experimenting for years with now. 
and things don't happen overnight. Now, to the stage I've got, I've got the proof, and I can prove it, because I've got videos of it, where I've fired light, which is photons, protons, electrons, neurons, that combine a proton. And like I says, gluons. Now, there's another guy, all right, that knows hell of a lot of this stuff. And I've learned a hell of a lot of stuff from him over many years. And this guy has been ridiculed. You name it. Nobody will talk to him or anything. It's even got to the stage where he won't even probably talk. You know, I'm, I'm, I need to talk to him. He needs to talk to me. At the end of the day, what I'm doing is the same as what this guy is doing. And we're standing on the shoulders of a giant, such as Nikola Tesla, Emmanuel Velikovsky. So, yeah, this guy that I'm referring to, if you watch this, you know what I'm going to say. Mud Fossils, University, Roger Spurs. Now, he ain't no crazy guy. He ain't no wacko. Because if he is, then I am. And whoever else goes down these theories, which aren't actual theories, this is reality. This, this, you know, the, the, the like I said, CERN, they're just playing at it. Roger will tell you, how many times he has to stress about it, they're playing at it. What Roger's found and other people and I found, you know, working, you know, he's, you know, thousands of miles away from me. He's in America, I'm in the UK. But through, you know, these devices that was actually developed and uh, invented by Nikola Tesla, uh, um, we wouldn't be able to have this wonderful technology that, unfortunately, as always, it always gets spoiled. It's like you go down somewhere and they go, Oh, I'm sorry, it's a computer error. Well, a minute ago you were telling me computers don't make errors and they're marvellous. But now it's made an error. Now, are you sure it's the computer and not the idiot that's operating it? Maybe it's the idiot that's operating it that's made the error and not the computer. It's like a, a dodgy builder. They'll blame everything on tools but themselves for doing a boss job. Get what I'm saying? So, respect to Roger. And I think it's about time that, you know, if you don't like what Yuri says, and you don't like what I say, go out somewhere else. Go to sleep. Because pretty much that's what you are, asleep. If you're not listening to what I'm saying, or Roger, I mean, Roger, he, he, look, he knows his shit, right? He's a genius, right? I'm just, you know, everything that I'm learning, I've learned from what I've learned myself, reading books, learning at school. Eight years old I was, I found a book in the library at school when I was eight years old. And this particular book, out of all books that were in the school library, there was this one particular one. Hey, it looked knackered. And, like, mm. and because it looked knackered, I thought, well, what, what's this old shabby thing here for? But it quite a big book, and I pulled it out. And I thought, like, oh, Nikola Tesla. Oh. And as I picked it up, I heard this voice in my head say, whatever you do, don't tell him you picked this book up. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm eight years old at the, at the time. You know, and I'm like, what the hell? So I was like, oh. So I got a, a, my blazer, my school blazer thing that we used to wear, a unit, school uniform. I cut pocket up and it bought lining inside and then like a big giant pocket. 
So I have to have my school bag. I know it sounds lazy, but I, I, put, I sashed it in there. And uh, I had a little wonder about it. And I got a couple of ladybird books about, you know, crap. Fairy tale crap. And I'm like, oh, can I? So the stamp book. And then, and then look, but, you know. I don't know what happened to it, but as I grew up, but it didn't end up going back to the library. But I read it over and over and over again, and you know the, the guy's my hero, Roger's hero is Emmanuel Velikovsky. Well, my hero is uh, Nikola Tesla. You know what I mean? Um, because it's ironic. Uh, I mean now. Uh, Trying to invent free energy devices, which I've pretty much sussed it. It's not a case of trying to invent it. I'm inventing it. Not I've invented it. I'm inventing what I'm. I'm having to make it up as I go along. Uh, using whatever components that I can basically sell. I am. Other than replacing soldering irons, because for some reason I keep burning them out. You know, weird things. So I need another bloody soldering iron again. I don't know how many I've gone through now, but um, I want in process of making. Uh, I call them a multi stage inverters. And that's. All I can say at the moment, but when I have completed it, I'm sorry, I need to solder it down again. Um, I'll be doing a live stream, and you can see it all in full action. Now, Roger, if you bloody hear this video or whatever, email me. You've got me email address, just email me, right? Um, because I don't want to do this without you. You deserve the correct, you know, at the end of the day, you're the one of the forefathers of, of this path that we all, you know, certain people like us are going down. If not, man, we're pretty much screwed, really, right? But Roger's right, and I can prove him right, and I'm right. Because Roger's right, and I can prove me and Roger right. So, check out Mud Fossil Universities. But I've probably said too much as it is now, but uh, yeah. Um, let's just play a bit of this on a bit more than that. Because um, we're just about to go on about Sid. Alright, so let's have a listen. To uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, by the way, that's what it is. No. Some of us do, right? Some of us do. So, gravity is the one of these, the one of the four forces. A new one, dark matter. The dual nature figured out. We don't see particles of gravity, not yet, but we're looking for that because it's invisible. Right? So, if we talk about, you can uh, see it, but you can't theory, see it. We have to talk about string theory, I'll tell you why. Because we're going to talk about particles of gravity. You know, just the gravitational force, the thing holding you to your chair. We could call the gravitons that are created by the Earth. Okay? We know gravity makes waves. So it has to also make particles, we just don't see them yet. We can exactly, calculate Exactly, this is what... We can measure its amount. This is what I'm saying, and I'm not sure to agree with this, right? The gravity, it's dark matter. It's neurons. Electrons are neurons that make protons and photons. The electron is the energy and the light particle, right? And the neuron is the dark particle, which is heavy element of gravity. But you can't see the neuron because of the, the, the electron well you can you can't but it is there God just proved it and I can prove it but the theory is is and Roger's right if you 
basically square you're firing a beam of particles for a venture because the, the, I mean, they're an heavy element, a neuron, it, 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 it's right, it jams up because electrons then they charge so high and they have to go through. So then, even though, because obviously it's light, it's at traveling at speed of light, by doing this then and separating the neuron from the electron, then it allows the electron to accelerate beyond the speed line. I mean, I don't know what bloody speed it is, but it's faster than speed line. So it's possible, it's doable. And I can prove it. I ain't just got pictures, I've got videos of it firing, you know, electrons and neurons who uh, eventually, right? Um, I've got it. Um, I'm just an average guy. Sort of thing, I've been ex military, blah 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 blah. Uh, I just, I don't know, I just pay attention to stuff. Curious, so I do my own work. Um, but anyone can do it, anyone can do it. Just gotta put your mind to it. But anyway, let's, uh, let's have a listen because I'm, I'm as bad as you, Roger, rambling. I believe the uh, Earth's core is, number, is not, you know, a neuron, a massive small. black hole. But I can black also hole, sun. consider that if we talk about gravity in a different way, mm. by talking about another visualization of how the universe works, one that is a favorite of Michio Kaku, okay, for instance, mm. then I think you'll see a little bit more about what gravity is and how we can leverage gravity to cross the universe in record time and the way it works all right is you think about uh, string theory what is a string i talked about protons in the nucleus right hydrogen has one proton and one electron the electrons is going around the nucleus okay well forget about the electron for now just think of the proton the proton also has a frequency it's vibrating right it's always doing this so if i freeze it there at the left end for me, the right end for you, and then I freeze it here, at the right end for me, the left end for you, I have this point and this point, and in between is a line connecting them. Guess what that is? The string. Mm -hmm. The energetic, the energy path that the proton took during its vibration. That's the string in string theory. It's a toroidal field. The near Electromagnetic field, the toroidal field, that's what it is. Right, we're going to stop that right there now, that's it, right? So I want to leave you all in suspense. Hey, because uh, uh, I didn't really want to do a, a video as long as this, but, you know, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, I ain't even seen any. I, what you, I'm showing you now uh, is... Basically, what I'm seeing, the same, you know, obviously I'm, I'm watching it filming and whatever and things like that, but, you know, I actually watched it and gone, all right, I'll do it. I've just thought, oh, what's this? And I'm like, hey, what? Hey, what? You know, me has pricked up a bit and I'm like, hey, oh, electrons, neurons, Roger, light box, free energy, yeah, well, um, ah, yeah. So yeah, that would be interesting. So uh, all I'm gonna say is, is um, on that number, eyes open and be safe because the truth's out there, isn't it? And that's what it's about: global open discussions. To be able to do, you know, discuss things sensibly. Civilly. So be safe, everyone. Catch you soon. <laughs>